Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to hook up PF3W7 flow and ISC70 or 70G pressure switches with IO Link and the PLC of your choosing. During the video, we will show you the equipment configuration and the steps required to complete them. In the end, we will turn the power on to make sure that everything works. Let's get started. These are the parts and part numbers that you will need to connect your IO-Link PF3W7, ISC70, and ISC70G to your PLC. Please refer to these tools and additional equipment required to complete this application's assembly. To start, thread the IO-Link cable into the ITV using the M12 connector, as was done in its video. Then thread the other end to the commercial IO-Link master. Next, thread the IO-Link cable into the ISC70 using the M12 connector and connect the other end into the IO-Link master. Next, thread the IO-Link cable to the ISC70G using the M12 connector and thread the other end into the IO-Link master. Then, thread the IO-Link cable into the PF3W7 using the included connector and add the other M12 end to the IO-Link master. Finally, thread the IO-Link cable to the EX260 using the M12 connector, as was done in its video, and add the other end to the IO-Link master. Now, thread the power cable into the IO-Link master, and on the other end, strip the wires and connect them to the power supply accordingly. Polarity does matter. Next, make the field bus connection with the IO-Link master using this M12 connector. And on the other end, plug the RJ45 connector into the switch. To connect the PLC to the network, plug the RJ45 connector into the switch. Then plug the other RJ45 connector into the PLC. Connect the PC to the network via its Ethernet RJ45 port and plug the other end into the switch. And finally, let's put power to all the devices including the PF3W7, ISC70 and ISC70G, IO-Link Master, PLC and the switch. We need to check device connectivity. Turn on the power. And let's look for lights and communication. We have them there, and there, there, and there, there, and there. Now we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we'll configure these water and air monitoring switches with the IO-Link Master for PLC communication and control.